Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at the ifs function of Excel 2016. So this function is only available to those of you using Excel 2016 as part of the Office 365 subscription. It's one of the new functions that greatly simplify nested ifs which is always a little bit of a messy, complicated way of getting things done. So what I've got as an example here is I have a list of names and some pretend like exam scores. And depending on how good that score was, uh, will depend on the kind of result, whether they get grade kind of like A, B, C or D, etc. So this is a classic kind of nested if uh, situation although there are other ways. But I'm going to use this new ifs function, which will be a little bit simpler and definitely better and easier on the eye as well. So the ifs function allows you to test multiple conditions and it will react to the first true statement. So in this example, where I might want to say something like, if it's better than 90, then it's grade A. If it's better than 80, then it's grade B. I need to make sure I test the 90 and grade A first, because this function returns the first value that meets true. So if I test it the other way and test 80 first, then it will just leave with <laughs> you know that result. I need to go top and work my way down. So in cell C2, and let me zoom in a tiny bit more, Let's have a look at this ifs function. And there's the description that I just mentioned. Checks whether one or more conditions are met and returns a value corresponding to the first true condition. I'll double click that to put the bracket in and we just simply need to provide it with a logical test, then a true statement and repeat that process for as many times as we want. So there is no value if false statement of ifs. So here we go, I can click on my first grade here for Joseph and test if it's greater than or equals 90, put in my comma, and then the value of true will be, in my example, grade A. They will get an A if it's 90 or, or, or better. If I put in a comma, we can see these optional questions coming up now, where, as I mentioned, I simply repeat the process. Logical test again, value of true again. So I click on the cell greater than or equals um, 80, let's say in this example, comma, grade B, and I'll just keep going, comma, B2. Rest that up there, isn't I? Uh, B, uh, comma, B2, is it greater than or equals 70? That can be grade C. And I'll do one more, B2 greater than or equals at 60, comma, grade D. And then, Anything below 60, because I do, I think I've, I've got three in here that are below 60. I'm going to put in one more logical test, a fifth test. So I would have four if functions for this, four or five, depending on how I write it. No need for the nested ifs here. I just put in one more to say if it's less than 60, because I did say greater or equal, 60 is a D. If it's under 60, then that will be... E. And then I'll put my close bracket on the end there and I'll press enter and copy that down. And I'll just center those up. So now depending on the score, we've got a couple here that are less than 60, they get the E, better than 90 is an A, you know, better than 80 is a B. And that is the new to 2016 ifs function simplifying how you would previously have written a nested if to get that kind of process done, continually testing it with a, a bunch of closed brackets on the end. So this stuff's always possible. If those of you watching this do work with older versions, you know, this kind of stuff is possible with a nested if or potentially even the likes of VLOOKUP or index match can, can get this kind of stuff done. There's always multiple ways but these are the typical ways you're going to come across when you use people spreadsheets. And this is a great addition to those of us using the more recent versions. 
I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.